guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Krina and I'm a sucker for all things DIY. Father's Day is right around the corner. So instead of buying gifts for my dad which he would never use, I thought of creating this greeting card, this gift card holder and a mug. So if you're interested in knowing how to make these products, then let's get started. In order to make this greeting card, here are a few things you will need. Fold the paper at 3.5 inches on the right side and 3 inches on the left. Now fold the white paper in half and stick the shirt print on one of the sides. For the collar of the shirt, Fold the paper at half an inch away from the edge and fold the remainder of the paper in half. Now fold the entire piece of paper in half again and cut the sides as seen here. Apply glue to the flap and stick it at the center of the card. Now paste the white paper on top of it. Fold the corners of the flap at different levels and then fold the collar inwards to meet in the middle. For the tie of the shirt, fold the red piece of paper like this. Glue the tip of the tie to the flap of the card. Make four dots at the edge of the top flap and stick buttons on it. And that's it! You're all set to write a sweet message for your dad and make his day on Father's Day. In order to make this gift card holder, here are a few things you will need. Fold the brown paper upwards and leave half an inch at the top. Apply glue on the sides of the card and stick it together. Now fold the card horizontally. Glue the brown paper on the right side of the wallet to insert the gift card. Create a dashed line all around the wallet to represent the stitch marks. Write a note saying Happy Father's Day for the front of the wallet like this. Write a sweet note for your dad and insert it in the inside pocket of your wallet. Stick the note that you created earlier on the face of the wallet and you're done! In order to create this mug, here are a few things you will need. Stick the stickers on the mug in any way that you like. Now take a permanent marker and sketch the design right over the stickers. Take a pair of tweezers and remove all the stickers. The stickers that I used were extremely difficult to remove. So make sure you test these stickers on a mug before you try this. Ta-da! You're all set with this beautiful mug. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial and I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. I have mentioned a few tips and tricks in the description box below so make sure to check it out. Please help me grow my channel by hitting the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Until next time, bye!